Hello! So, today, we are looking at a wireless mouse. Later in the video, I will talk about its performance, but right now, we need to unbox it, so I can at least use it. Okay, so, here we have a tier grade, and I know it doesn't look like a G, but there is a very dark dash there. Anyways, this is a... Apparently, a wireless gaming mouse, model number wireless mouse 001. It has a dongle and take batteries. So let's open it up. Uh, darn it. I even cut it so it would open easier. There we go. Now, ooh, it has rubber. And, uh, nothing else. Nope. Okay. Cool. So we have a wireless mouse. It does have an on and off switch. That is very nice. Easy to turn on and off. Um, we have uh, uh, two double A, triple A, triple A. We have DPI clicky. We've got some nice gnarling or ribbing or dots, whatever you want to call them. Give you a little bit of hard plastic, but it definitely provides some grip. And got some little pads down here. And as you can see, tier grade, uh, focus. Eh. Tier grade. Anyways, 2.4 wireless dongle, so we shall see how this works out. Be right back. And we're back. So, it is the next day, and I brought the mouse with, yeah, with me to work. So, one thing I noticed after ending the video yesterday was... This has a compartment for the dongle, which is so important to me because I carry a bag, sorry, a bag of dongles and adapters and memory cards with me every day in my uh, laptop bag. And having this, oops, be able to be stored inside the mouse itself just makes it that much more convenient. So, I do have batteries, but before we test it out, I want to open it, see what it looks like inside. So, let's check it out. Okay. So, the only thing I have done is remove the pass sticker and take out the single screw and I've been holding it shut, so let's see what's inside. Okay, and whew, let me switch to my better hand. So this just should just pop off. Yep, there we go. <laughs> so the main body is plastically welded here and there. Still not terrible construction, and here is our board. So, as you can see, we have one, two, three, four, five, six buttons. There's our little camera, and that's really about it. We have an on off switch. Some wires going back to the battery, our LED, a clock, and a uh, blob chip. But all in all, still really nicely constructed. I do like that they have a Molex connector here. So if something does go wrong, 
You can easily disconnect it and maybe repair whatever did go wrong. But, all in all, looks very nice. The switches are YT and ZDN. They don't have any other markings. Oh, yeah. Don't really see any other markings on it. Our uh, sensor is... FYC 3065 and on the bottom we have 1638RH so yeah very very nice there's some hot snot kind of just floating around in there or something very very stretchy but it's holding this daughter board in place holding the microprocessor as you can see soldered on there well red solder mask soldering is not terrible and our on off switch is soldered onto the board and yeah all right, let's get this back together and get it hooked up to my computer. All right, so here is the computer and here is the mouse. So I've been using it for a little while and I thought of a test I could do. And that is between 10 and 8 inches, so just a 2 inch gap, I'm going to line up this uh, ditch here basically where there's a little tip cut out through there I'm just gonna line that up with those numbers and we're gonna see how much that moves so so here I'm trying to get the entire screen in view and now we're gonna move so that's the two inch movement and as you can see it is and as you can see it's not a lot of movement which is nice so you can have nice fine control and not be super fast so we're going to go ahead and click the dpi button once get it lined back up so right there Okay, and here we go, two inches. Okay, let's try that again. So, mouse is all the way on that side of the screen. So, two inches. Now brings me almost the entire, uh, three quarters of the screen, we'll say. And finally, full DPI, two inch. Okay, that was an inch and a half so now we're going to go from this side all the way so a little bit further so you can definitely see how much the DPI changes but if you're used to a high DPI this really isn't too terrible. Um, the one thing I do have to say is, oh my goodness, are these clicky. But other than that, I do not have an issue with this mouse one bit. It is a very nice wireless mouse. And it's $10, so if you're looking for a nice sized little mouse like this that is wireless and has a on off switch which I really like and a compartment for the dongle come on you stupid thing for the dongle in there then for 10 bucks you get three DPI settings forward back on browser and left and right and 
a middle click and scroll. And decent build quality, yeah, it's a, nothing but plastic and one screw in the whole whole thing, but it's not terrible. For $10, I've used a lot worse. This is fairly nice. And the gnarling does help with the grip. I rarely ever see myself flinging it for no apparent reason. So, anyways. If you like the video, hit that like button. If you dislike the video, well, you know what to do. Tell me why in the comments down below, and then hit that like button. As always, you'll see me in the next one. Bye-bye!